Okay, hi there. Good evening. Uh, just a quick one. Uh, this is a trading video, as you can see from my jacket. Uh, the the video in regards to the petition is uh, on another video clip. So this is about trading. Now, I've done a trading video on the 29th of February, that unique year in the leap year. Uh, and uh, it was regarding the DAX, the German DAX, which is the indices, uh, which is like they all share sort of the tops of uh, 30, 40 shares, top 30, 40 uh, companies in, in uh, Germany, their shares. And uh, it's a bit like the FTSE uh, or uh, the uh, S&P. Now, uh, when we were uh, speaking at the time, uh, it was trading, uh, we do on a daily. I'm just going to uh, open it up. So it was on the daily and it was... Uh, 17,700. 17, if you remember, I looked at this when it was around 1,700. Uh, so it was 17,600. Uh, but we said, well, we'll do that trade from 17,700. And the target, if you recall, was 18,000. Now, it's hit the 18,000. Yeah, it's 18,004. So that trade has now completed. So it's very, very quick little video as to why that trade was successful, as I called it out. So if you remember, the market likes big numbers. When there's a big figure, like the 18, the rounded up of a thousand, yeah, the market tends to gravitate to that if that's the way in which the, the market is trending. And the market has been trending literally uh, since the beginning of this year in an upwards direction. Now, I haven't really been following the markets in regards to the fundamentals uh, and the movers and the shakers, etc. I've simply been following uh, the market in regards to the chart. That's, you know, that's, that's my main interest. I follow the market on the fundamental elements and also on the economic announcements, mainly to give me a bit of an edge as to what the probable market movements will be once a certain announcement has come out or when there's certain fundamentals which are playing, pushing the markets up. But you can go in it from a blind perspective and purely on a technical level. You'll notice that I don't have many technical in indicators uh, when I'm looking at those trades. But just to recap now, uh, the market was trending at 17,700, okay, which is around uh, sort of this level. A bit more, yeah. And uh, we were looking for it to go to 18,000. That's 300 points, 300 ticks, yep, uh, which is here. In fact, 600 ticks, to be precise about it. But it's hit. So what does that mean, money-wise? Well, money-wise, if we remembered that we would do this trade, if you had 25 grand, for example, you could even do it on the 10 grand, actually, and you went 10 pounds a point. That would now have gotten you... Uh, 3,000 pounds straight come out. It's come out of the trade. You don't really know what's going to happen once it's gone off to that level, 18,000. The next big figure, and I'm sure it's going to hit it, will be the uh, 20,000 mark. Well, it's a long way away, isn't it? But that's the next figure. Yeah. This is the next figure up here, 20,000 mark. Now that's 2,000 ticks away that's ballsy that is very very ballsy i think you would agree yeah um what we're talking about there that's, that's a 20 pound trade if you put 10 pound a point on yeah right now and you just held it there with a stop let's give it a, a stop down halfway back down to here let's say this 17,000. 17,000 straight, yeah, uh, that's a 1,000. You, you're risking uh, a 1,000 to make 2,000 uh, points, yeah, then that's what you'd get. Now, if you remember, the other trade was not rather than just going long, uh, you could buy a call option, yeah. Uh, if you remember, I said you'd buy an April uh, call option with a strike price of uh, 17,800, and it would have pushed push through there, yeah?
by an extra 200 points. So you would have made money on that. Uh, what made me confident was the trend of the market, uh, the big figure, which acts like a magnet to that price. Um, could have helped me even more if I had a little bit more background on the fundamentals. So that's it. That that's that's the trade. Yeah, that is the trade. That's how you make money on these trades. Yeah, you look at the probability. You look, first of all, uh, you trade what you see in terms of the market is trending upwards. This is a daily chart. You can see that since the uh, since the attack by the uh, Israeli Defense Force, the market has been on an upward uh, tra trajectory. This is around here now. Um, of that uh, that attack, yeah, there was a pause as they got their act together, and then from that moment on, it's been gradually escalating higher and higher. Election years are coming. Uh, elections are coming in the UK and in uh, America, uh, and the outcomes of those will determine also a lot about how the market is going to be shaped. Even though we're talking about the German market, it all sort of uh, adds in together, and quite honestly the funds are coming from the UK and America swishing around uh, the financial markets. So a quick a little look at gold, if you like. So gold just just sold off, yeah, but on the daily. Still, as, as pronounced, look here. Oh, look, this is, this, this, see, see here, this is October the 7th. There was a, a jump, yeah. And from that moment on, gold was was in a bullish mode. It's pushing up. Equities also go in the same way. Uh, funds, oil, sideways. Um, you know, not much more to say, really, other than that would have been a good money maker for you guys.